how are you? Great. It was just a long night. How long? Well, Lucky came here and we hung out and talked for a while. You know, he really misses Jesse too. That's good. Yeah. Then he left and I didn't want to be alone, so I went out. Hmm. Maxie, I know that you're grieving for Jesse. And it's really hard. Nobody knows that better than I do. But I'm not sure partying all night is a solution. Robin, I am fine. I just needed the distraction. Anyway, did you go through with it? Did you tell Nicholas he was John's father? Carly was pushing all my buttons and, I mean, it was all I could do to keep from blurting it out. I'm not sure how long I can keep this secret. Having a meltdown at Jax's expense because of Carly would be a huge mistake. But at least the truth would be out. But Maxie, there is so much about the situation that we don't know. You're right, maybe Carly doesn't even know that Nicholas is John's father. We can't just automatically jump to the worst case scenario. Come on, please, it's Carly. All right, she knows. Yes, and she's probably the one that talked him into it to begin with. Oh my God, do you think Courtney knew that Nicholas was John's father? I don't know. You know, I know she couldn't have known. She loved Nicholas too much to keep that secret from him. Do you believe in signs? Hello. Hi. Hi. You know, are you free for lunch later? I don't think we finished our conversation from the other night. <laughs> I would have thought you had enough of me going on about Courtney and her son. No, not at all. That's important stuff you're dealing with. Care to join us? No, thanks. I have plans. Okay. Metro Court? Yes. Uh, one? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna tell him, aren't you? I think Courtney would want Nicholas to know. Oh. I know, I know. I forgot to check in with my keeper. Nice to see you, Maxie. Bye. College has been out for three days. We agreed you'd move home for the summer. They're letting us stay in the dorms. That's not what I hear. Did he give you this much grief when you lived at home? Uh, yes, I believe so. But in retrospect, I am very grateful. Oh. Georgie? Is it okay if I move back home? I have one thing to say. If anything like I told you so, I'm going back upstairs. No. More like you'll always have a home with your family. But since both you girls are going to be living at home now, I think we should revisit some ground rules. In case you've forgotten, I'm in college. I'm married. Oh, come on, you guys. Be nice to him. Just be grateful that you have a father around when you need him. Words to live by. You'll never go wrong by respecting your dad. Oh, isn't this quaint? Family reunion. All I gotta do is, is, is secure the jewels and, and do Polly. But then it hits me. I figure, hey, why not simply let her have some of these fake jewels that we've got and then allow her to escape? After that, all I gotta do is take out the bounty hunters, jump out the second floor into the Jeep, which was a bit of a problem for Luke and Tracy because they're not very good on heights. Then we get to the airport and we catch the next plane home. Did you pilot the plane too, Uncle Robert? No, he was probably too busy writing his acceptance speech for the Nobel Prize. Yeah, it's not easy being a super spy. Hey, listen, we all got back here with our body parts intact and enough of this uncle stuff. Just Robert. So, where are the jewels? Well, in the fabric of things, they really weren't all that important. So wait, I'm confused. Why did you come back here at all? I mean, isn't this when you go winging off to parts unknown and disappear for another, I don't know, decade or so? I can see an opportunity here to mine much greater riches. You were fired. No. I had my choice of assignments. I chose here because of things that I've missed. DVR? No. Happy hour at Jake's. My family. <laughs> I've got a bit of downtime between assignments. Time I dropped anchor. Uncle Mike, do I get to be son of one? No, 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 not yet. What you have in mind, brother? Well, I want to work on this uh, relationship business. The sooner I settle down somewhere, the sooner we can all start to reconnect. I mean, um, you got a spare closet over at the Casa de Scorpio for your worldly brother? <laughs> now you can be cynical, Robin. Where else would I want to stay? Uh, you know, a week ago, it might have worked. But Georgie's coming back, and uh, Maxie has to move out of the dorms. And I'm just remodeling rooms and everything. Oh, well, 
I could live someplace else. You're coming home. Sorry, bro. I'm sure you could find a hotel or something to stay at. Well, that would defeat the purpose. There's a purpose? I've come back to be the father you need. Dad, that's a really nice gesture. But I happen to be a grown woman with, believe it or not, a life of my own. Exactly how long do you intend to remain angry with me? I mean, just so that I can, you know, make a note on my calendar. Well, you know, that's the thing. I'm not angry with you anymore. Oh. I have come to realize some basics. Number one, you cannot change who you are no more than I can. So now I just find you mildly amusing. So now that I'm all grown up, I don't really need a father, but thanks for volunteering. Wait, Robin, weren't you just telling Georgie and me that we should appreciate the father that we have? Actually, I said appreciate that you have a father around when you need him, and we can all be grateful to Uncle Matt for that. Maybe we should cut Robin a little slack. I'm sorry I ruined your plans by moving home. Uncle Robert. Better luck next time. But you know what? I'm sure some agency will call you any minute and tell you that they desperately need you to go on a mission. Fortunately, I have plan B. I have this standing invitation at a place that, unlike yourself, they just can't get enough of me. Hey. Hey. I was supposed to meet Nicholas for lunch, but uh, I don't see him. Have you seen him? Well, no, but I'm sure he'll be here. What's this all about? planning John's uh, christening, so I'm just I'm trying to learn this. That's great. You know, I've been sitting here thinking about how close I came to losing him and, uh, you know, how amazing it is that, uh, that he lived. This is my way to give thanks for my son and ask for God's help and guidance in his future. You could all use a little of that. You know, I'm a little intimidated to be that boy's father. John and I are getting closer every day. I'm incredibly humbled at the prospect of shaping his life. Well, I can't wait to see little John again. Yeah. Oh, there's Nicholas. Take care. Thank you, too. Kept you waiting. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, my grandmother's on the loose again. Apparently, mm -hmm. she confronted some people that I do business with, so I need to find her before things get out of hand. Do you really think she'd hurt you? She certainly wouldn't hesitate to hurt people I care about. I mean, thank God that it's public knowledge that Jax is the father of Courtney's son. I'm sorry, I just can't believe that Helena would hurt an innocent little baby. If I ever give her an heir, she will do whatever's necessary to take over that child's life and, and try and mold him into her idea of what a perfect Cassidine should be. I know, this is all very exciting for you. I... <laughs> Anyway, uh, what about you? You you said on the phone, I mean, it sounded like something specific you wanted to talk about. 